The tenure of the chairman, Federal Inland Revenue Service, Babatunde Fowler, which expires on the 24th of August 2019, may not be extended following a query from President Mohamed Abwari on the discrepancies in tax revenues. Fowler was appointed for a renewable term of four years on August 18, 2015, the year Buhari was elected president. It succeeded Samuel Odubeson, who was appointed by former President Goodluck Jonathan. Fowler also held a similar role in Lagos State, Nigeria's richest state. In May 2019, a group concerned staff of FIRS petitioned President Buhari over the atrocities and infractions allegedly perpetrated by the chairman of FIRS, Babatunde Fowler. In an open letter, the group advised President Buhari not to reappoint Fowler because the FIRS boss had unimaginably taken it back to the old dark period of inefficient and ineffective days. The group also recommended that the activities of Fowler from the day he was appointed up to his last day in office should be investigated. This may have prompted the query from the presidency, requesting for a detailed account of the discrepancies in revenues accrued to the federal government. However, in his response, Fala agreed that actual tax collection since the beginning of President Mohamed Buhari's administration is lower than the 2012 to 2014 period under former President Goodluck Jonathan. He said FIRS under him has performed better regarding specific non oil tax types such as VAT and CIT. According to FIRS, during the years 2012, 2013 and 14, GDP grew by 4.3%, 4.4% and 6.3% respectively, while in 2015, 2016 and 2017 GDP grew by 2.7%, minus 1.6% and 1.9% respectively. The tax revenue grew as the economy recovered in the second quarters of 2017. Further defending his stance, Fowler associated the lower tax collection in 2015 to oil market crisis due to the fall in commodity price compared to the period under Goodluck Jonathan and to the recession which slowed down the economy. As Babatunde Fowler completes his days as the head of the Revenue Service, it is highly questionable if his term will be renewed with the corruption allegations leveled against him. Roots TV Nigeria